count them. I am um, Kobu's mom and Ali's mommy and Pixie's mommy and Arlo's mommy. When I, when I was growing up, a crazy cat lady was the crazy cat lady off The Simpsons. I've always liked cats. Pixie came into our lives because I was very fortunate to work at a place which was a type of rescue centre and I met her the first day and instantly bonded with her. We were there building cat furniture and she couldn't get away from me. Um, and a few months later, thankfully, I was lucky, we were lucky enough to take her on. Mike bonded with her instantly. I just, I loved her personality from the get-go. She was, she was the cat that stood out to me the most. And she's beautiful as well. Just, just pictures and videos of Mike and Pixie out on adventures. Mike and Pixie realising their, their true connection that they've got with each other. Starting to advocate for that, trying to raise awareness for that. It's always been a big thing in um, Mike's life as mental health awareness. Um, so the fact that P Pixie is just the perfect match for him was really interesting and we really wanted to sh show that to people and share that with everyone else and it's taken us to brilliant places. Whenever you see um, any posts on Pixie's socials, I know it might, might sound like Pixie, but it is actually me because Pixie does not have opposable thumbs. I post on her behalf. <laughs> <laughs> if you have ever commented or messaged us, um, that's me. The kit of the cat world is crazy. I do it because it's nice being kind and putting happy, happy good vibes out there. It's nice. Do I have any other friends other than cats? Yeah, I've never, I've never had a, a group of, of girlfriends. I've had one or two really close girlfriends. For a very long time, my, my only female support was my mum. You know, it's not important to just have a, have a group of girls, but it's nice. It's something that I've always wanted and never really had. Sometimes just being there is enough for support. So once a month, I host a monthly girls' night at my house. <laughs> um, Hannah, Danny, Tasha, okay, um, Be <laughs> Becky, Becky, and Becca, Michaela. <laughs> Michaela is my little bug. Is she's actually the woman that helped raise and train Pixie in the rescue centre. She's been a really, really close friend of mine. She's just a silly sausage that I just, she's so funny and so lovely and a, a, another crazy cat mum. Michaela is part of the Pixie squad. She is our feline health specialist. She will be coming to many future events with us. She actually rescued a kitten that was born stray and we helped take her in and get her adopted by Mike Stand. So that was nice. Ev everyone is welcome in the House of Picks. Um, but it, it, the House of Picks is, is not just the house that we live in, but the, the community that we are forming. I do go through troubles myself. I wouldn't say that I live with um, a mental illness, but I have definitely experienced poor mental health. On those down days, I do struggle um, to go to Mike for support about that kind of stuff. Because I do see it as he's got it worse off than me. Absolutely, communication is, is key.
no matter how bad either person in a relationship is, is suffering with mental health or anything on that spectrum, it shouldn't be a game of, of who's got it worse. Yeah, it's okay to get things wrong. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone's human. Um, Mike and I were away camping last summer and obviously we took Pixie with us and she decided on one of her little walks that she would take a little adventure up a tree and many branches. She was still on the lead obviously um, but all I could do is stand there and laugh and I had to shout Mike over to climb up and, and get her out make sure she wasn't all tangled up so that was quite funny. Yeah, the, the cats are, are everything to me. They are my babies. It's so silly to say. It, it is, it's silly, but it, they are my babies. I look forward to coming home to them. I think about them, I consider them with everything. You know, life, life would not be the same without the cats at all. Even, even just this past year, the amount of people that We've got following us from, not just in, in the UK, but from literally from all over the world. I think a lot, I think a lot of people can um, relate to our story. Or is it not just because of the cats, but also for the, the mental health things that we advocate for. Um, it's something more relevant now than I think ever in history. Um, so it's, it's something that everyone can relate to, no matter who you are, where you're from. Everyone, at some point in their life, is probably going to experience some form of poor mental health. People find their own way to relate to it on their own, own level, and we've had so many people reach out to us about so many different things, and it's, yeah, it's really, it's touching and humbling as well at the same time. Thank you everyone for watching. We really appreciate every single watch, like, sh comment, share, follow, everything. We're always open for people to get in touch with us if you have any um, ideas, anything. We're, we're, we're up for anything. We just wanna, we just wanna help and make people happy. It would mean an absolute world to us if you could like the video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> like the channel! More, more <laughs> YouTube, more YouTube, more YouTube, more YouTube, more YouTube. Like the channel! Like and subscribe! <laughs> Sorry.